Okay, friends, we'll be starting in just a second, and then we'll go for 10 minutes, and then we'll end, and I'll be available after uh, if you would like to stay and chat for a while. Welcome, friends, to the beloved seven-day experience inside the KS Media Group app. Together, we are consciously creating real-time bits of inspiration and motivation to GSD, get the shit done that you want to do. It's an opportunity to learn about different trainers, coaches, and consultants to support you in every area of your life. Check out the daily calendar to learn who is offering what and create 10 minute habits that support you. I am delighted to welcome you to the Confidence Zone today for the, the 10 minute habit of a confidence boost. Today, my one thing to share with you is this. Thoughts are things. This is one of the most profound learnings that I had early in my own personal journey to what I call the light, also enlightenment. And as you rise in the light from the shadows and from the darkness, as you rise in the light, you rise in consciousness, being consciously aware. And so I want to invite you to pick up anything from your desk, anything where you are, whatever it is, pick it up and play with me so you can see i have an orange marker i want to ask you do you understand that this is a thing yes this is a yes. thing it has a feel a shape a color and now take your hand and move it any which way this is a thing you can turn it over you can put it down you can lift it up it's a thing this is a thing Thank you for playing. You can put your thing down now. <laughs> so I want to invite you to consider this idea that I'm sharing with you today. If you could imagine that thoughts are things and you can manipulate things as we just did, you can hold on to them, you can see them, you can feel them, you can experience them in the way that you do in the physical, then de facto, you can actually what? Transform your thoughts. You can manipulate your thoughts. So let me drill down with you on this. Has anyone here ever had the experience, be honest, of waking up in the morning or maybe also going to bed at night and having all these thoughts in your head, like just swirling around, whether it's an ongoing way. Phil is like, yes. <laughs> and uh, this really is generally universal, whether or not you live in anxiety, clinically diagnosed anxiety, or more likely you have the human element of just having a lot of stuff going on. And, and you know what we do is allow our thoughts to control us. That's what's happening. You lay down at night, or uh, as one of my clients says, I wake up in the morning and there's this just flood in of all the things I have to do. All the things, all the different areas in my life flood in and all the things I have to do about all of them. And then what happens is overwhelm or uh, I call this fog, and a fog begins to descend in order to support you getting out of bed into all that stuff, all those things that are crashing into each other everywhere in your mind. Can you see that visual? If thoughts are things and they're in you, then they're literally crashing into each other, bumping into each other madly in your mind. Now, this idea may be uh, elemental for you or, or elementary for you if you're already in higher consciousness, but heed my words, if you're listening, for those of you who are here, or if you're watching this right now, then it is intended for you to hear again, for you to be reminded. So I wanna bring you along uh, on this journey with me 
uh, that right now you may be experiencing thoughts, uh, you know, being in control of you about something or other instead of you through your breath. Last week we talked about SMR, simple movement routine. When you move your body, when you get yourself into your control, then you can also control the things. I uh, worked with this for many, many years. And I experienced this myself through therapy and all the modalities of mindfulness that we know, such that today I call it soul connection. All these thoughts are racing around your mind, chipping away at your personal confidence. And, or if you're in business, the same applies for you in business. It's chipping away at what I call your business confidence because of all the things that you, you know, have to do or worry about or concerned or whatever. And so if you use a visual for yourself right here and now, create this visual and affirm my thoughts are things, what I think is up to me. You can use the visual right now we're playing a game but i'm also implanting a new thought the thoughts are things what i think is up to me and i want to let you know as the confidence coach you probably have heard me say many times that doesn't mean that i'm only, always supremely confident i'm human first but uh recently i went skydiving i i made got the idea from my niece I made the plan, we drove to the airport, I walked to the plane, I got into a plane knowing that I was going to be jumping out of the plane. Like I went into the plane knowing that. I sat on the plane driving up to 14, flying up to 14,500 feet, any which time I could have said no to the guy, I'm not doing this. Um, and the, the way that I did this was through uh, understanding the thoughts that I chose to think about that experience. This is true, this literally happened just a few weeks ago. And I actively, intentionally, intentionally engaged my thoughts about this experience. I'm walking to the plane, I'm getting on the plane. I trust in God, I trust that I will be safe. I'm choosing these thoughts that I want to think. I'm literally uh, creating the thoughts in my mind that I'm curious and interested in this experience. People say, how was it? I don't know. It's hard to describe how it was. But as I prepared for our talk today here in the confidence zone for your confidence boost, this is all what came to me. And I was reminded in the, because I went into an out of body experience because I have trained myself in thoughts or things and that you can control things and therefore you can intentionally create thoughts being impeccable with your word to yourself which is one of the four agreements and and you can literally transform your experience now again if you're a person who's already into mastery with this then the reason you're hearing this is one little tiny thing that's going on for you if you're a person who has no idea of what i'm talking about I'm happy you're here. Thank you for joining. I'm happy to introduce you to this idea. My thoughts are things. What I think is up to me. As you do this more and more, as you practice this and experience it, your confidence will rise, will be boosted, and then it will rise because you will be more in charge of you. Confidence is lowered when you feel out of control, when you feel others are in charge of you, when you feel helpless, all those things, you can create the thought, I am in charge. I'm in charge of me. The ultimate confidence uh, affirmation. So this is your confidence boost today. I wanna let you know that I will be around for a few minutes after uh, the, our session is over and I'm happy to engage in this conversation. I wanna thank you for joining me in the KS Media Group app and I wanna encourage you to go to the app, look up the daily uh, beloved seven day experience and find who is talking about what and join them for 10 minutes 
Today, we'll be joining Dr. Karin Lubin doing some physical exercise, and later in the day, Nadine Searle, the Calmer Self Coach, will help us tap into our Calmer Self. Tuesday is Power Day inside the beloved Seven Day Experience. So thank you for joining me, friends. Okay, does anybody have any questions? Anybody want to stay another minute? If you'd like to, you may. If not, thank you for joining me today. Thank you. Great. Well done, you, Susan. Love seeing that. And I love the message. I love the background. I Peggy started something. Loving how that is looking. Wonderful lead, Peggy. And with the 10 day, with the beloved 10 minutes behind you, that's fabulous. And love seeing the audience for these sessions. Yes, love thank you everyone them. for joining me today. Well done. Live in the confidence zone. Good job, Susan. Thank you. Thank you very much.